and welcome to Can Lions 2016. My name is Alex Brownsell. I'm the editor on M&M Global, and we are in a absolutely beautiful spot, looking out over Can with Tim Malman, the new, the new, newly appointed president of AOL Platforms. Firstly, yes. congratulations on the new position. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, and and how long have you you been in Can for a few days now? Yep, got in on Sunday, uh, getting prepped up, and now we just kicked off for a great week of meetings. Yeah, yeah. So and, and you're here all week. And what was the what was the big focus for, you, for for AOL here this week? So I think the focus that we want to really stress to a lot of the, the clients who get to see us is probably three different things. One, the essence of global and how we've actually expanded our footprint globally. Uh, secondarily is data and obviously the data that we have that we want to share with our clients. And I think lastly, probably most importantly, is how we're open. The yeah. ability to keep you know, our relationships with not only the advertisers, but also with the publishers that we work with and be able to create an open environment that allow both of them to thrive. Yeah, I, I imagine there's few big businesses that have come to Can 12 years on and have actually such a different narrative to tell the market. You know, there's been a huge amount of change, like you say, geographical growth as well and you yeah. know new appointments such as yourself it's yeah. um that's been an exciting time and you know yeah what's the i guess the key messages then that you're you're talking to clients about in those meetings if you're allowed to reveal to me <laughs> no of course i mean for me the the charter of taking over the role of uh, overseeing platform was simplifying the story you know really starting to narrow down exactly what our value proposition t is to the advertisers as well as to the publishers and there are great synergies now that you can take the, the platform that would typically be referred to as the demand side mm -hmm. um, and leverage that to publishers to allow them to be able to programmatically create much massive reach extension so that allows them to be able to garner a much greater opportunity for them to profit off of uh, the data that they have themselves yeah. and then from an advertiser perspective you know we're bundling our supply side platform in so that they can actually have a holistic view of not only using our technology to be able to buy into the right inventory sources, but also have the transparency mm -hmm. that enables them to understand the viewable uh, impression, as well as understanding um, and being able to root out any of the, the traffic that would be deemed non-human. So that ability to really kind of take both platforms, refer to it as one, and really try to sell that in a more simplified fashion is really my charter for this week. Mm -hmm. It's obviously an interesting time for the you know the industry at the moment. There are lots of challenges. You mentioned some of them there, fraud, etc. Yeah. Um, you know what, what's the what's the atmosphere that you sense at an event like this? Is it still pretty optimistic? Still pretty upbeat? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think. Well, first of all, you're in Cannes, so <laughs> you know if you're not smiling being here, then there's something wrong. Very good point. All right. Uh, but the other thing too is that uh, it's, I think the, the fact that we're actually having uh, conversations about data and actually leveraging data to be able to be smarter about creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, data has always seemed to be perceived as something that is, you know, a use for, for being able to target. And yes, it can be, but there's so many other ways that you can leverage data. And we're really trying to stress that there is data that we can use that we can share with our advertisers to help them be smarter about what kind of creative they should be running against, what kind of ad formats that are actually being more successful. So it's more about the analytics and insights behind you know, how we can share that with clients that we think is also, you know, going to create a lot more optimism. And it also ties into why we're here. I mean, th th this is to celebrate creativity. Yeah. And so yeah. that's another big focal point for this week. Yeah, well, you, you totally preempted my next question, which is going to be all right. You know, it is a festival of creativity yes. and, and, and creativity is, is evolving all the time with new technology, with, you know, precision, ability to target and, and <clears throat> the use of data particularly. Yeah. I mean, who do you think is, is almost, is there any single party responsible for creativity in the marketing ecosystem now in the way that probably 20 years ago it was, it was the creative agencies, it right? It was, it was, absolutely. I mean, and that's when you think back back of what Ken was back in then. It was mm -hmm. it was a celebration of, of the creative side within the agencies mm -hmm. and, and you know the teams within it. But you know creatives is I think held mutually accountable to not only the, the creative shops but also you know even you know the, the companies that they, they partner with. I mean the ability to you know create like we have in our uh, in our company a, a team that's just devoted on creating innovative ad units. Mm -hmm. and getting those out to the, the advertising community to start pushing the envelope of, of creating a much more uh, engaging user experience. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's also what, what makes this event so special because it allows you to be able to kind of push the envelope a bit more um, than you typically would. Yeah, and, and, and as an ecosystem, you know, I guess there's still challenges of, of the different parts of the industry coming together, working together to find the absolute best solutions for clients. Do you think that those those part, those maybe those traditional parts of the, the industry are, are starting to wake up to the possibilities of, you know, what some of the technologies that you guys have can, can offer? Well, I, I think it's it's just a matter of, uh, it's it's starting to become a much more mature business and that um, advertisers are, are noticing that, you know, they can still get the same, ha they can have the same type of creative 
thought leadership while also using a lot of the advanced technologies in the way of automating or programmatically allowing you to be able to target the right user with the right impression at the right time. Um, that, that typically had always been perceived as you know dumb pipes, uh, <laughs> but there are ways to be able to leverage those pipes um, and overlay that with, I think, the creative element, which is why I think you're starting to see more and more of these, these brand advertisers lean in even further. And uh, case in point, why can has become so big in our side of the business than it was, let's say, eight years ago when it was still very nascent. Yeah. Well, it'd be fascinating to see how it all develops. And yeah. um, thank you very much for your time. Thank Hope you. you. Enjoy I appreciate the rest it. Of the festival. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Appreciate it.